The blonde bombshell took to Instagram to demonstrate her dedication to both her famous husband and the national team, sharing a shot of her football shirt with her other halves. Name and number on the back with her 15,000 followers. Today's outfit, she captioned the upload. Alina then upped the ante, with the next upload on her story showing her sat in a tattoo parlor dressed in the red shirt and smiling for the camera. A tattoo artist could be seen working on a brand new inking on her wrist, showing off her fresh new body art. The stunning mother of two then shared a shot of the tattoo which simply said, the 23rd of June 2017, happy anniversary my love, she said. The timestamp on the upload showed her in the tattoo parlor less than half an hour before she could be seen sporting Denmark's colors in the stands at the Luzhniki Stadium in Russia. Alina looked delighted to be cheering on her husband after getting the date of their wedding inked onto her wrist beaming down the lens while her pal raised a cup of ear in the air. She could be seen wearing her golden tresses in a simple straight style, falling loose over her shoulders as she opted for a fresh-faced, natural look. For the match, she only jetted out to Russia yesterday, sharing a video of the view from her aeroplane window on Instagram. Yesterday, she gushed about heading to support her husband, writing on the social media site, Hell oh yeah, finally it's time. On my way to Russia, so excited, I don't know what makes me most happy, she continued. To meet my husband for five minutes to see Denmark playing, damn I miss you Simon but please don't come home yet, sick meanwhile, KJAER, 29, kicked off today's game against France in the starting lineup as Denmark came to land a victory against the formidable French team. They previously drew 1-1 with Australia and then managed a 1-0 victory against Peru. Today's winner will top Group C, but Denmark will secure a place in the knockout round if they manage to leave with one point or if Australia fail to beat Peru. Australia need to emerge victorious as well as hoping Denmark lose and beating them on goal difference in order to qualify. The group winner will go up against the runner-up of Group D in the next round, while the runner-up will play Group D winners Croatia. Group D's runner-up will be decided in tonight's games as Nigeria take on Argentina and Iceland play Croatia. The group stage comes to a close on Thursday when England play Belgium and Panama face Tunisia to decide the final standings in Group G yesterday, Spain were held a 2-2 draw by Morocco but still managed to top their group, while Portugal drew 1-1 with Iran to ensure the place in the next round.